Hello, well I've had a few questions about small batch production. Should you make things individually one by one or should you make them in small batches? And I think it probably depends really on the whole host of factors. So in a nutshell, I make things in small batches because you can get economy of scale. And that basically means you can get your goods made for a you know, competitive price. But it actually isn't, that isn't my main motivator for doing things in small batches. What I find is when I make, you know, like 15 of an item or 20 of an item, I get far better accuracy as well. So the whole time you're trying to perfect your techniques, you're trying to get everything more accurate. And the thing I like about small batches, you get into rhythm, you're doing something and you're going boom, 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 boom. And you also, as you're sort of repeatedly doing something, you think of better ways of doing it. And it sort of challenges your thinking. If you're just doing the one item, you make something and you've made it, you know, you get through the process, oh, that's good, I've made it, you know, whatever it is. If you're doing a small batch, you make a couple or do a couple of parts of an item and you think, hang on a sec. Now, when I cut it that way, it did fat. I wonder what happens if I cut it this way. And you start thinking a little bit like, okay, well, let's try it. Let's try using the other side of the ruler or let's try using a different kind of knife or a different kind of saw. Um, etc. And I find that doing little batches, you think, and by the time you've done about item number seven, you're thinking, okay, that's better, now let's try this. And you're constantly perfecting. And that's actually one of the reasons I like batch production. There, there is definitely no doubt about it, the accuracy increases because you're doing something, you're able to fine tune as you go along, and you get into this like rhythm, which I like. So, yeah, economy of scale, um, definitely getting more accurate with things and also thinking through your making process. They're all to me quite big drivers of why I like doing things in batches. There are other factors in all of this, because I get people sometimes asking me, could I have a belt, you know, in a, a non-standard size or with fancy stitching or something else? And I, regrettably, I don't have the time. Um, so I don't, I, I need to get on. Um, I don't get that much time to do everything I want to do <laughs> and I, I need to just get on. And I think sometimes people are a bit surprised, but actually to handle individual transactions, it's very time consuming. And sometimes I might do it if I want to try and innovate and try something completely different. But generally I don't because by the time you've sort of clarified the requirements, worked out everything, you've spent so much time that there's not a lot of time left to make the product at a price your customer's going to be happy with. So it's again, it's another reason why I like batch production. Now, I know taking leather work as an example, there are quite a few people who love doing one-off bespoke items. And I think that's great. I mean, they make beautiful items and they get a lovely client relationship and they make beautiful things. I guess it all depends really. I lo you know, love working with the material. I love making nice things. I just like to make more things, <laughs> get them out to more people. But yeah, you, you can look at it different ways. I don't think there's a right or wrong in this. I just thought I'd share a few of my thoughts as to why. I tend to like to make items in what I call small batches. So yeah, thoughts on batch production. You might want to perhaps share some thoughts, your own experience in the comments below. I thought I'd share that and thanks for asking the questions, those who have, and um, see you in the next film. <laughs> Bye then.